Hey everybody, I just wanted to give you guys a quick little tour of our store. So, to start off, we've got our little anemone tank here. Various bubble tips. We've got a couple fish in there. Coraline is growing in really well. Then we've got our first euphilia tank here. Filled with our hammers, torches. We've also got a couple of Ghani frags. Well, so that we're healing out a little bit. Some of our clay corals. Here's our next euphilia tank. Uh, this just has our frog spawns in it. And then we've also got some of our other pieces, including our clams. Um, we've got some really cool feather duster rocks in here, as well as our uh, bigger pieces, including our lobos, our trachees. Um, some Ghani colonies and frags, our scolies. Uh, we've got a couple of Australia Wilson eyes left. Um, we've got a couple of really unique Duncans, some of our bubble corals, a couple of sun corals as well. And then in our next tank, this is our SPS tank, our acro tank really. Um, We've got our grow colonies. You've probably seen a lot of frags off of these guys on our site. This is where we get a majority of our acro frags. We also source some from local hobbyists, um, as well as wholesalers. We've got some grow out frags here. Some more of our grow out frags here. We like to, after we cut our acros, we like to let them grow out a little bit and crust on the plug so you're getting a nice healthy frag. Not just a fresh cut that was glued. Um, these are all our for sale acro frags. They're nice and encrusted. You can see that pink Cadillac. Those guys are really nicely encrusted. Strawberry shortcakes. We got some really nice original pieces here. We've got this really nice smooth skin here green smooth skin that we've been growing out for we fragged this guy probably four or five months ago off of our smooth skin colony here and that guy's just done really well for us we're really happy with that um, the smooth skins are usually a little harder but this one has been really hardy and done really well for us the next tank we have is also, sort of an SPS as well as Encruster LPS tank. So we've got our big, huge Space Invader chalice there that we've been growing out. We've got a couple frags from that guy, as well as some more chalice frags. And then we've got some Leptostreas, Siphostreas, Phobites, Stylosinella. Um, we've also got some regular Fabias, some Montes, Crusting Lanties, Plating Lanties, um, a really nice selection right here. This is our ORA frag section, so you can see we've got the Red Planet, the Elkhorn, um, the classics like the Stellar Stylo, the Purple Stylo, the uh, Panape Bird's Nest, the Green Tip Bird's Nest, the Yellow Fuzzy is a really beautiful acro. There's more in there, fuzzed up. Some of their stags as well. We love their corals just because they're so encrusted. You can see on that Stellar Stylo, the base is entirely encrusted. They've had most of these colonies for over a decade, in some cases over two decades that they've just been growing out. So they usually do a lot better than um, a lot of the wild SPS just because they're already so well acclimated to life in aquariums. Um, we've got some more frags that we just recently fragged. Um, those guys are getting grown out and crusted so we can sell them in a couple of weeks. Then we've got some more encrusters here. These are our some colonies that we just got in that we're starting to grow out. We've got them on the discs. Here's a couple of our colonies that we've been growing out for a little while. Another awesome Space Invader Chalice. This one is actually a different species than the other one. Um, this amazing red chalice. We've also got Halloween Leptostrata. 
nice orange pavona, some favias, the war coral favites, and then some more um, favites and cyphostrea. And then here's our little acan farm that we've got going. Um, we like to keep a couple of the frags from all of our um, acans that we cut up just so we can grow them out and keep them. Our little, this is our lower end um, zoa farm. Some of them that aren't as high dollar that we like to cut up. Um, we send a lot of those out as um, for newer customers because they do really well. They're super quick growers. We've got them in this higher light section because they are better acclimated to that lighting and they grow a lot faster there. So we've got you know radioactive dragon eyes, magicians, um, the Keds Reds, Pandora Pallies, the Tubbs Blue, which are an awesome classic. Just some of the classic, fast-growing um, zoas. This tank is acans, as well as some of our mushrooms. We've got some more ORA pieces. These are the ORA Red Ganiaporas. Another great piece. They do a lot better just because they are um, aquacultured rather than wild. Um, we've got some recordia mushrooms back here. That's our microgani colony. You can see that's our last frag there. We're gonna have to hopefully frag that guy up soon. We've got some Neptune bounces that we're growing out. Um, another Ori leather. This is our little power banky farm that we've got here. Some more of our mushrooms and acans. These, all these acans are on our site right now, available for purchase, in store, online, whatever's easiest for you. Um, some of our acan colonies, those are also on the site for people who just want a little bigger piece um, that's a little faster growing and really fills in a tank nicely. Some more acan frags that we don't have on the site yet. Um, we've got a chalice that we're recovering from a customer, some blastomer lettis. And this is one of my favorite pieces in the store. Um, this is a nice rainbow chalice that we've had for a really long time that we're growing out. Um, he's doing very well, really starting to encrust on that frag plate that he's on. Hopefully we'll frag him up soon. This next tank is mostly Zoas. We've got a couple of extra acans here that spilled over from the other tank. But for the most part, this is all our Zoas that are online right now. Huge selection. We're always adding more. Um, these back here are some that we're just waiting to put on the site once these get sold. We've got even more. We went crazy fragging last week, so we've got a ton of Zoa frags. We've also got some more LPS here. So we've got some Blastos that we're growing out. This one is a really nice splattering in the center, in the mouth. Let's see there. We've also got some more Blastomer Lettys that are on the site, some purple, red, some Black Widow Blastos. We've also got some really nice blue Duncans, and you can see the difference between this green Duncan in the back and the blue Duncans up in the front they've got the blue tentacles makes them a little more different usually you'll see the green variety um, we've also got some more ora pieces or a kenya tree um, and then we've got some nice trumpets we've got these interesting blue purple ones here and the neon green this is our little zoa farm so almost all of our zoas come from the zoa farm or from local hobbyists. So we've got various higher end, medium grade. We've got the butt kissers, the utter piece, fairy fars, um, the mind tricks, rainbow incinerators, reverse hallucinations. Um, we've got some pink hippos, some sunny d's, some gobstoppers, as well as you know some gatorades, some purple monsters. We've got our nice big our chaos colony back there that we've been fragging from and then we've got this tank right here and this tank is mostly not for sale this is mostly our orders that we're shipping out this week 
And then we've got a couple of nice pieces like this Wilson Eye Monster. We've had him for about six months now. He's really starting to to grow. We can start, to, we're starting to see some growth out of him and just really brighten up and get some amazing coloration. We've also got some elegance corals that we just got in and some flames breath algae, as well as a couple of chalices, trumpet, um, you know, nice fav, uh, fabia there. Uh, yeah, and then our other system is over here. So this is our secondary system. We've got this tank, which is sort of our display, another grow out tank for a lot of our more encrusting LPS and some of our other SPS, including our Montes, as well as a ton of chalices in here. We've got the Satosa, the Digi, Akin, Enchinata, uh, some classics like the Green Slimer, the Mystic Monty, um, the Red Monty Cap, as well as some Bizarro Cyphostrea, the Ore Mint uh, Pavona, the Space Invader Chalice, Meteor Shower Cyphostrea. We've got some more chalices here that we've been growing out. Some more Montes. And it's just something nice to look at while we're sitting at the desk. Over here, we've got our rock flowers. Those are available online in a four pack or singles. You can also stop in the store and check those guys out. And then here we've got some more frags of various things, mostly cut off of that various colonies in this display tank. So we've got some of that Monty, some of those chalices that we're growing out. There's another space invader that's nice and grown out more chalices, fabias, some of that Acan enchinata. Just sort of a grab bag of a bunch of different LPS. We've even got Acans, um, Stylophora, Turbinaria. Um, yeah, nice little mix. And then over here we've got sort of our um, combo rocks. We've got our Pulsing Xenia on there which you can see has some really nice pulsation on it. Um, we love the pulsating just because you get so much extra movement. Some Captain Jerk Pallies, ton of green star polyp, as well as some mushrooms, some leathers. Um, we've got some more red mushrooms there. We've got our GSP frags, some Ghani Estrella frags, some more Fabias, a couple of Zoas, some Nirvanas, Radioactive Dragon Eyes, some of the Captain Jerks off of that colony. Um, some Xenia Frags, some Acros that we just got in. Um, and we've also got these really awesome Black Widow Anemones. Um, they've got amazing color. The webbing on them, which is kind of difficult to see, is just incredible. The really light blue, you can kind of see it on that one. A light blue webbing that gives them that Black Widow name, um, and obviously that super deep red that you can really only find in the Black Widow and the Sherman anemones, but the Black Widows have that blue webbing in them, which really just makes them stand out from all the other anemones. And then we've got our freezer here with all our frozen foods in it. And we've also got our mixing station here where we have our salt water and fresh water. And our small dry goods section. It's all products that we use here. Um, we don't want to really sell anything that we don't personally use on our tanks. So that way when a customer asks, you know, how do you get that color and things of that nature, we can show them the product and they can buy it rather than um, just selling stuff we don't use. But that's about it in our shop, our little shop here. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.